In today's video, I'm going to be talking about, you know, a lot of the snares that people are falling into, specifically around purchasing or buying a home. I'm going to roll a clip and this clip is going to shock you and then we're going to talk about it. So my, my mortgage went from $2,500 a month for my five bedroom house uh -huh. to $7,500 in seven years. It went up to $7,500. And yeah, he's a witness. I could not afford it. Thank you for tuning in to another Righteous Spirit Filled episode. Today I'm back at it in them trenches handling that kingdom business. Now, if you have never heard of stories or testimonies like this, you might be trying to figure out how in the world did this lady's mortgage go from $2,500 a month to $7,500 a month. And this is why we must lean on the word so we don't make, you know, ignorant and foolish decisions. You know, she is not the only woman out here making decisions like that. You know, when we look at statistics, you know, single women have a higher foreclosure rate than single men when it comes to home. And this ultimately has to do with wisdom. You know, when she was purchasing this home, she probably felt like this was a once in a lifetime opportunity. She could afford it. But I tell you, your feelings are carnal. They're not going to produce anything good. Carnal wisdom, which is earthly, sensual and devilish, will fail you every time. But the wisdom from above is pure. The Most High Yah tells us in his word to build houses. And the onus is on you to be willing to get out there and labor in that. He never tells us to go out and get a mortgage for 30 years and buy more than what we can afford, which and oftentimes this is what a uh, majority of people have done. And these people behind this system will tell you, congratulations, you're a homeowner. Let's cut the ribbon. When the truth of the matter is, you don't own anything. Man, Proverbs chapter four, verse seven says, wisdom is the principal thing. Therefore, get wisdom and with all thy getting, get an understanding. Now, if this woman would have shopped it around, you know, sought out the wisdom of elders, they would have told her, hey, that is a bad deal. What this lady took part in and signed up for was an adjustable rate mortgage, meaning the interest rates initially will be lower than everything else on the market. Oftentimes, home builders like people uh, that build subdivisions, they use this because they can borrow a lot of money at an extremely low interest rate. And they know before the rates increase, they'll be able to sell the property. But for a home buyer, this is one of the worst things you can do. And you hear this lady talking about my mortgage went from twenty five hundred to seventy five hundred dollars and that's what an adjustable rate mortgage does and people fall into this snare all the time because the introductory rate is lower than the current market standard of what uh interest rates are around but give it a year two years you know, like I said, it was an introductory rate. The rates are going to skyrocket. 
and we see in this woman's testimony. This is why the word says, prove all things, hold fast to which is good. Now, this woman, you know, who we don't see has a covering, you know, couldn't have sought out counsel, probably went in there thinking I can afford this. This is a good deal. And oftentimes when when you are stubborn, you know, a hard head makes a soft ass. You have people out there, especially that look like me, when somebody tells you, hey, when somebody tells you, you probably shouldn't do that. We look at it from a perspective of, oh, they just don't want me to have nothing. They're jealous. But did you ever think that they had the wisdom and understanding to see that you were walking into a snare? People are going to let you make your own choices and decisions. These people that are selling you this stuff, they're never going to lead you to the word. They might have their religion. They might have their, uh, you know, type of worship, whatever denomination. But they're never going to lead you to the word, you know, like Proverbs 22, 7. The rich rule over the poor and the borrower servant to a lender. Think about that. You signed up for something that was too good to be true. And it lasted for a short time. Now this woman mortgage is seventy five hundred bucks. She's not the only one going through this. Women and men. In their independence, making choices like this, not doing the research, not proving wisdom is the principal things and all you're getting in this lifetime get an understanding closer to yon ministries kicking it gun barrel straight